The F-86 Sabre is an iconic aircraft from the 1950s and it is well known for its involvement in the Korean War. It has a pretty basic loadout with some rockets, bombs and sidewinders, but it also has 650 cals on the front, which pack a punch. Hey guys, Emil's here, and today we'll be doing one of my first practice flights in the F-86 Sabre in DCS world. Alright, let's get into it. So we're heading towards the target. I think... No, oh, maybe not. I think we need, we need to head a little bit more this way. Or maybe not, because we want to have a nice approach. So they are wind So the targets are lined up on a taxiway on an airfield. So we will pretty much just try to do a straight and run and destroy all of them at once. I think I can spot the airfield right there. Yep. So I think weapons are ready. We just need to uh, get to the target. It's a really easy sort of jet to fly. It's got nice speed. As you can see, we're already going at 500 knots, actually. That's quite a lot. Should probably slow down. It's, it's very nice to fly and sort of easy to fly. I definitely can't wait to get into more dogfight situations and things like that. And I will be definitely definitely making more content about this aircraft soon. And we will be flying the Hunters over the Yawu campaign later in January probably. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Okay, I can see the taxiway. I'm going to actually extend air brakes here. And be going in a high angle. I actually don't know what is the proper angle of attack, but uh, I guess we are gonna find out. This is actually a little bit steep, but we will see. Question is when to fire. I think now. Boom. Can't see the targets. Looks like we have some effective hits. Um, looks like some of them are scattering. Alright, let's go around again for a gun run. Oh, we still have an extended air brake. Let's uh, retract that and pick up some speed. This thing has six machine guns on the front, so... It won't really tear through a lot of armor, but it should tear through some trucks. So, we'll see how it does. Okay, let's turn this way. So we can have a straighter approach. Though some of the trucks have probably already scattered. So, oh, actually, we have a lot of effective hits there. All right, I think I see one. Oh, we just missed it. Okay, we'll go in for another one.
Oh, is that the truck? I think that's actually the truck. I think we might have destroyed it. Anyway, a couple more hits will do. Alright, there's no more armored target, but I don't think we can actually... Oh, actually, let's try it. I'm not sure if we can penetrate it. But we'll give it a shot. Let's extend a little bit. And turn. These guns aren't really meant for tearing through ground targets. But... Um, we'll still try. We'll still try. Now the other one is, I think, on the runway. Yeah, perhaps I see him. Okay, either we... Either we got him or we didn't. Oh, I think he's smoking. Oh, right, very nice. Wait a minute. That's my smoke. Oh, there's another smoke trail behind me. Okay, let's arm missiles. I think there is a MiG behind me. can't spot it. Let's see if we can find him again. I'll we'll try to use the AIM-9Ps. Oh, they're not even Ps. I'm not actually sure which AIM-9s these are. But they are a very old model of AIM-9s. Oh, I see him. I don't think we're gonna be able to go ahead off. Go in the head on. And the missile definitely can't G have a exceed a lot of Gs. So we'll try to turn into him. We're above him. All right. Let's see if we can get the missile off on him. Missile away. Oh. Missile away. Think. Or maybe not, now it's away. Okay, no cigar. I mean... Oh, second or so away. I think. Oh, I realized what I did. Okay, sp splash one. Uh, I fired a rocket the first time. I had one rocket left. All right. That's a mix mig down name 9p yeah I mis mistook my buttons I think I still have one aim 9p left all right what's uh, RTB let's see if we can land this baby okay let's turn into the runway we're gonna do a we're gonna do a flyover and then we're gonna head into a break and we'll go into pattern sort of high. It's important to keep an eye on your instruments also while you're doing a landing because I have not been doing that before and that's kind of been my downfall in most of my landings so 
we're gonna try to uh, fix that. Right, let's break. Not high at all. We'll extend a little bit out from the runway and then we'll turn back. All right, we're going around because this is not an approach. Okay, gear up. Going around. All right, let's extend gear, extend speed brakes. Extend speed brakes. Flaps. There are my speed brakes. You'll be landing a little bit late and too fast. No, way too fast. Now I'm not sure what happened. Either I either I knocked my gear back inside, which could have happened, or I never extended it fully. Either way, any landing you can walk away from is a successful one. All right, that was a training mission in the F-86. As you can see, there is still room for improvement and I should probably fly it a couple more times, which I will do off camera. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and as I said before in the video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future content. I will be making videos about the Hunters Over Yahoo campaign, as I said, and leave a comment if there's anything else you would like to see. Alright, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!